In this question, we're trying to propose what's happening in step number two of this two-step reaction mechanism. We're given the overall reaction and step number one. From the overall reaction, we can see 2NO is one of our reactants, and we're very fortunate it appears here in step number one. So we've accounted for that piece. That's excellent. Uh, I don't see O2 anywhere, therefore we know we're going to have to have O2 in this step in order for us to account for it in the overall reaction. I also see N2O2 is a product in step number one but does not appear in products of the overall reaction. That would imply N2O2 will be a reaction intermediate. So we have to use it up in a later step, which we can see right here, that would account for where N2O2 went. Now, when those two go together, since this is a two-step mechanism, I need to be making 2NO2 so that it will appear in the overall product step. This means that my Proposed second step of this reaction mechanism would be N2O2, the reaction intermediate, plus O2, one of the reactants, making 2NO2. That would be our product. In part B, we're asked what will be the activated complex in step number two. What we basically do at this point is we combine whatever was a reactant in the step, just stick it all together. That becomes the intermediate piece that is made on the way to making the product for that step. So in this case, we can see we've got N2 and O2 combining with O2. Or simplifying it, we've got N2O4 would be our activated complex.